Hello. Hello. It's non-alcoholic Chardonnay. Oh, I'll put it on ice. Come in. Thank you. How are you? Oh, fine. Good? Mmm. Dinner smells wonderful. Steak and potatoes, the one thing I couldn't screw up. <laughs> My goodness, you went all out. What's the occasion? You. You ate the good china. I'm flattered. <laughs> hey, take your coat off. An excellent year. I have to say, the tables of Paris pale in comparison to Chez Jacqueline. Stop, Vicky. You're making me blush. And I don't do that. Mm. So now, let's go to the sitting room, OK? We can have some of these strawberries and more of that fake wine, OK? Bring your glass. Oh, it seems later than that. A big meal always makes me sleepy. Well, why don't you take off these shoes and relax? Here, have one of these strawberries. I just got them. I can't believe I found them this time of year. My eyesight is not what it was. Do you mind? Uh, no, I thought you were tired. I am tired. Hmm. And I have to uh, prepare my lecture for tomorrow, so. Well, one strawberry never killed anybody. Who can stop at one? <laughs> Victor, that's potato chips. Well, it's been a marvelous evening, simply stunning, and I can't thank you enough. Yeah. Good night. Thanks for coming, Tex. Oh, hang on! Oh, hi. Hi. What can I do for you? I've misplaced my reading glasses. I've spent the entire day with books here. Oh, Did it, you I, left them. Sorry I couldn't stay for dessert last night. You know, you could have. I had such a lot of work to do. Victor, if you had so much work to do, you would have come back for your glasses last night. Oh, I muddled through. You know, I'm so sick of your muddling. I mean, if I wait for you to make the first move, I'm going to be old and gray. Well, I mean, not gray, really, because I'm a colorist, but definitely not natural. Why haven't we done that before? I'm shy. Get over it. Jackie. Hello. I must have dozed off. Mm. Yeah, like, immediately. But I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> that was an amazing experience. Mm, yeah, me too. It was intense. I'm starving. Did you know that shyness is actually genetic? I mean, all people have a rush of adrenaline when they're startled or surprised, but most of them reabsorb that adrenaline within a matter of minutes. Shy people can take up to three days to reabsorb it. It's such a burden. Jackie. Hmm? I'm sorry, I didn't hear a word you said. I was just staring at your eyes. So my grandmother has leukemia? I'm, no, gla glaucoma? And so then she broke her hip, and now I have to take her to the senior center? You are a fine grandson. So if I could just have two more days to finish my term paper. Take three. Life's so short. Au revoir. Dr. Lesky? Oh, you're eating. I'll come back. No, Mr. Luca, come in. Strawberries dipped in Belgian chocolates, pure luxury. Would you care for one? You okay, Victor? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So listen, I have sort of a, a human behavior question to ask you. Why would someone who seems smart be a failure at school? A lack of motivation, typically. I don't think that's the problem with this person. Hmm. Well, perhaps you have sensory impairment. Bad eyesight, for example. Ha, ha, ha. It's not me. And I got an A in your class, in case you forgot. Well, what would life be like without a little levity? Hmm. Does this person suffer from inadequate instructional or environmental opportunities? Yeah, probably. But I don't think that's it. Assuming the person is of normal intelligence. Oh, yeah. He's like a human data bank when you talk to him. It's on paper that he seems to have a problem. There you have it. Has he been tested? For what? If I had dyslexia, don't you think someone would have noticed before? Plus, I got a table by the window. 
It's very romantic. And to think a week ago, I thought you'd never step up. Speaking of... Uh, I was going to wait till we got to the restaurant, but... What? Oh, what's this? I suppose you'd call it the ultimate form of stepping up. Oh, what the... Marry me, Jacqueline. I've never seen you speechless before. Well, I, I picked it when we barely know each other. Well, that's an understatement. <laughs> well, I, I, I just can't. I... There's no pressure. You keep the ring. Think about it. No pressure, right? <laughs> I'm so happy. I mean, I can't believe I'm going to have a family again. <laughs> uh, come in. <laughs> My friend Jonah at school, his mom got married again, and he was the best man. Oh, really? Yeah. He made a toast and everything. <laughs> That's nice. I don't have to be in the wedding if you don't want. I mean, you probably have lots of friends and stuff. Maybe I could play the violin when you walk down the aisle. You don't play the violin. I can learn. Abby, why don't you go um, wash up and I'll make you a really nice snack. Oh, okay. Okay. Take time. Are you guys gonna, like, make out or something? Abby. Victor, what the hell was that? Is that some kind of strategy to have me say yes by throwing your daughter at me? I would never do that. You know I adore that kid. How could you do this? I'm trying to be a good father. And I thought it only right and proper that I ask her opinion before I proposed. I needed to know that she liked you. Everybody likes me. And then she knew that I'd asked and jumped to the conclusion that you'd said yes, because that's what she wants to hear. And you couldn't set her straight? Look, Victor, what are you going to tell her? I don't know, Jackie. What am I going to tell her? Victor, I can't marry you. It, it, it's, it's just too soon. What's Jackie's favorite color? I think it's black, or maybe red. <clears throat> Abigail, I want to talk to you about something. Oh, yeah? Yes. Is it a big talk? Yes. As in, the big talk? I'm sorry? Dad, I already know all about sex, so don't make yourself crazy. And I figure you and Jackie do it, and I totally don't care. Well, we'll have to come back to that. <clears throat> Jackie and I have decided not to get married. What? It's completely mutual, and we'll still be dating. It's because of me, isn't it? Of course not. How could you say such a thing? Doesn't Jackie like me? Of course she likes you. This has nothing to do with you. Jackie and I have only known each other for a short while. Will she marry you if I go back to boarding school? I promise you, this has nothing to do with you. You know, it's just that me and your father, we really haven't known each other a long time, you know? So? Well, sometimes it takes a little while for people to figure out if they're right for each other. You haven't known me very long. How do you know you're like me? Listen, I am really crazy about you and your dad. My mom used to do that. What, play with the hair? Yeah. Hmm? My friend Aaron's mom is always putting Aaron's hair in braids and buns and stuff, but it drives Aaron crazy because her mom is always pulling at it and stuff. Like this? I don't think I'd mind it so much, though. Are you sure about that? You know what? I know a really great hairdo for you. <laughs> it's like this really cool braid, and it's in the shape of a skeleton. Ew, that is so gross. Do you know how to do dreadlocks? Yes, I know how to do dreadlocks, but you're not getting any. Why not? Because I think that white girls look really taggy with dreadlocks. <laughs> I'm gonna look good with some though. Oh, 
Uh, one second. Coming. Hi. Oh, I didn't expect you to be so dressed up. Oh, it's a little something I pulled out of my closet. <laughs> How are you? Just fine. Yeah. Come sit down. Thank you. Oh, how's Abigail? She's much better, thank yeah. you. Yeah? Oh, you know, she's such a great kid. There's something so special about her. There certainly is. <laughs> oh, Victor, I have something I want to tell you. Well, before you do, I'm afraid I owe you an apology. Oh. A very big apology. Oh, for what? I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sure whatever you did, you didn't mean it. I should never have asked you to marry me. Oh. Well, you were right. We've only just started dating, and we barely know each other. Oh. What can I say? I'm always right, right? When I lost my wife, I spent an awful long time just trying to stay numb. And then I met this incredible, beautiful whirlwind. But I became afraid that if I breathed, I'd lose you. I've been given an enormous second chance with my daughter. And I want to devote myself to that. I want to concentrate on staying sober and being somebody's dad. Yeah, well, you're the head shrinker who would know better than you, right? You forgive me? Oh, there's nothing to forgive. Really. Uh, um. Um, Victor, I, uh... No, Jackie, you don't need to... Really, you know what? Take it. Now we've worked up an appetite. How about dinner? <laughs> no, really, I think I'll sit this one out. I, I, I haven't been feeling well all day. Well, can I get you something? No, no, I'm, I'll be fine. I'll call you later. Okay. Jackie. <laughs> I thought that was you. Saw the shiny red pants. They're very in right now, so don't think every time you see a pair, it's me, okay? Oh, I always know when it's you. <laughs> we still on for tonight? Uh, yeah, unless uh, you need to cancel. No, not at all. I'm quite enjoying this dating business. Makes me feel about 18 years old. <laughs> it's very exciting. Oh, no complaints yet. Listen, I'll uh, see you tonight, okay? Tonight? Yeah. Uh, listen, this is actually all I'm going to get, so do me a favor and don't yell out a price check, okay? The film starts in ten minutes. Do you mind if we just skip it? No. Not at all. Did you have something else in mind? Uh, yeah, um... Are you one of those rip the band-aid right off kind of people, or you just sit there and slowly pull it up bit by bit? I slowly pull it up bit by bit. I'm pregnant. Like, if you want to leave, it's all right, just leave. Oh, God. This is most amazing. You. Victor. You are having my child. Victor. This is the greatest day of my life. I'm so happy. You're not happy. You don't know what the hell you are yet. I mean, you can't just process something just like that. I haven't even processed it yet. Jackie, believe me. This is the last thing that I wanted, Victor. I swore I would never be a single mother, that I would never do what my mother did to me. Well, you won't have to be a single mother. I'll be here. Don't even think about it. The last time you asked me to marry you, you took it back, remember? Look, I'm too old for fairy tales. You think you're gonna be this guy on the white horse who comes and sweeps me off my feet and tries to save me? There is no freaking white horse. You don't know how much I love you. <sighs> Two things. Two things I swore to God my whole life, that I would never be a single mother and that my kid would never be the child of an alcoholic. Jackie, I haven't had a drink in four months. I can't deal with you trying to turn your life around on my watch. You know, I want you to leave, okay? Just please, leave. Winter. Dr. Lesky, I am so sorry, and I know you must have 10,000 million more important things on your mind, but you're my advisor, and I need your signature to get into experimental psychology. That class is reserved for majors. It's a good thing you don't have to major in oxygen around here to breathe. Look, if you think the class is too advanced for me... No, you can handle it. 
You've yet to commit to a major, I see. No, well, committing isn't always easy. You know, it's hard to do the right thing when you're not sure what it is. The right thing is usually that which feels right. But what if nothing feels right? Then you have to wait until something does. Thanks. Of course, just because you decide something is right for you doesn't mean the universe has to reciprocate. Can we cut the crap now? Are we talking about me or are we talking about you? I believe we've moved on to me. Good. Okay, so what's the deal? The deal is that the woman I adore is having my child and she wants nothing to do with me. She's finally realized what I've known all along. And that is? That I'm not worthy of her. Do you think if you weren't worthy of her, I'd let you get close enough to get her pregnant? I mean, we're friends and everything, but come on. <laughs> what? Sorry, it's just interesting that you call me your friend. Well, you're not my foe, and those are the only two categories I have. Uh, of course you're my friend, Victor, and that's why I don't understand why you're willing to take no for an answer. The woman you adore is having your child, and you're just going to accept no? If there is any time to rise to the occasion, Victor, this is it. Maybe Jackie's right. Maybe there are no such things as fairy tales. Well, there's no such thing as Santa Claus. But if he came to my front door with a bag full of presents, I would not send him away. Convince her. Jackie, you gotta come look at this. What, are they running naked? Sweep you off your feet. Are you crazy? About you, yes. <laughs> oh my god. I've never been a man of faith, Jacqueline. I'm a cynic, a man who requires proof. You are my proof of God. It isn't scientifically possible for something as wonderful as you to just happen. I'll do everything I can to erase the doubts you have about me, as well as the doubts you have about yourself. I love you, Jacqueline. And I will devote the rest of my life to making all your dreams come true. <sighs> You marry me. Victor. Oh my God. Victor? Victor, you okay?